Message from the Blessed Virgin Mary to her beloved daughter Luz de Maria. July 14, 2010. Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart. I love you, I keep you protected within me. I house you here within me, you are my beloved children, do not fear, maintain faith, hope and trust in heaven's protection for each one of its faithful. Man's disobedience continues to mark his destiny, a destiny of pain, of suffering and persecution. The angels are waiting, waiting for the sign to lift the innocents when the tribulation worsens. Yes, my beloved children, the tribulation is a blink of an eye away from mankind. You walk in total disobedience, dazed by the noise that does not allow you to listen with clarity to heaven's most urgent call. Man's will once again leads him to confront a cruel reality. Man punishes himself. The disasters throughout all the earth are worsening, nature will soon tremble and man will bring pain by his own hand. Beloved of mine, my beloved Saint Michael, along with his legions, awaits the signal to rescue the faithful people, to accompany them in the moments of persecution, so they do not stagger and faith remains immovable. You were sealed at baptism. Do not allow the malignant one, usurper of souls, to seal again what the Eternal Father has already sealed, what my Son's most precious blood has already saved. You are God the Father's possession and so you must maintain yourselves in faith. My Son's merciful hand is before you, before man's will so that man returns quickly towards the fold. I love you, I keep you in my immaculate heart. The difficult moments, very difficult are approaching, prayers are indispensable now more than ever. You who do listen to the divine calls, you who do remain faithful and in prayer, you are light in the midst of so much darkness. You will be light even in the midst of the darkness that is approaching. The events that have been announced by this mother are before mankind, which hurts and crucifies my son time and time again. Everything remains before you. Those who do not believe, those who do not obey, will look upon the next outcome of the prophesied events with great astonishment. They will feel themselves go insane for having disobeyed. But do not forget that my son's mercy does not end, that it awaits the instant in which the human being repents. Time limits do not exist for the divine mercy, everything depends on the will of human beings. With sorrow I see how there are some who even in the last instance will blaspheme, and will form part of Satan's loot. Pray, my beloved, pray for the conversion of your brothers and sisters. The church will suffer. God's people will suffer, but will be elevated after their purification. The church will meet its beloved husband and will be adorned with jewels and victorious, it will rise up glorious. I love you, my children. Remain in divine peace. Hail Mary most pure, hail Mary most pure, hail Mary most pure. I bless you in the name of the Father, of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Remain within my heart. Mother Mary. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. The Instruments Commentary. Brothers and sisters, our Blessed Mother calls us not to lose faith, not to stagger. The Blessed Virgin Mary evokes to us human disobedience, the cause of sin. Disobedience inherited from our first parents Adam and Eve. Disobedience that culminated with the flood. Disobedience that overflows in our time, with the fulfillment of the prophecies, until the earth finds itself like after forty days and forty nights of rain. It is not God that punishes, it is man that. Stubborn, arrogant, sinner, he has not wanted to listen to the divine calls throughout all the ages of humanity's history. 
Like in the past the people ridiculed Noah, so today, until the prophesied events come to pass, until then they will not believe. Mother Mary lets us see that clearly. A humanity that continues to hurt the one who paid for all the sins of all the ages. Brothers and sisters, we find ourselves at the tip of the iceberg. When are we going to answer this mother who tells us that prayer nourishes us, that sin brings more pain and that without God we are not going to be saved? Let us react. The lifting or rapture of God's people has been mentioned to us. Let us raise our voice and adore the only King of heaven and earth. Amen.